I'm sure you've all heard nerves that fire together, wire together. So in the beginning, even if you like, see, here's my thing, get your mind on your side. So when we want to shift a habit, if you say to yourself, oh my God, I have to practice every single day for the next year, you, unless you're super disciplined and some of you are, but I'm not, right? My mind will rebel to that. So what do we do? We say just for the next week, just for the next two weeks, just for the next day, whatever it is for you. And in the beginning, it takes a little effort. It's hard, right? It's, it's, you're breaking your old pattern. But once you get it going, it starts to become self-propelling. Just like when you eat, have snacks every night before you go to sleep, right? It works through repetition. So the more you do it, the more you tend to do it. The same is true of yoga nidra or any other habit. So the more that once you try to get it going and tell yourself, I only have to do it today. I only have to do it today. I only have to do it to get today. And each time that you do it, it's going to start to, to gain momentum. You're gaining traction that your body and your nervous system will want to go there again. So use this principle of repetition to get on your side. Okay. Um, I use, I only have to do it today. That works for me. And then each day I just say it for the next day. Okay. Um, another one is don't worry about when you fail because every time you have succeeded, you have created a new neural pathway. So let's say you have an old neural pathway of sleeping in, but every time you succeed in going down the new neural pathway, getting up 15 minutes early to do your yoga nidra, you've of, of your, of your two choices, now you've got more, every time you have repeated this, you've got more neural density going down that way, okay? You've got a deeper groove. So even though you might fall back to this one, every time you do succeed, you are actually deepening this new groove. So what we tend to do is we so-called fail for one day and then we give up entirely, not recognizing that you have gained momentum just for all the times that you have succeeded. That neural pathway is there and every time you do repeat it, it will become stronger. So don't worry about when you fall back, just keep going. Every time you do repeat it, it is going to get deeper. That groove is gonna get deeper. Um, and remember that this is more, we wanna work in yoga and anything with yoga with more like an intention versus, versus a goal. So once you're clear that you are dev devoting your life, one of your life intentions is to, very simply to listen to your body. There are going to be times that you don't. That's just going to happen. But once you know, it's like you know you're going north, even going south and not listening to your body can be a part of your journey of going north. Do you see what I'm saying? So it's not like you have to do it 100% all the time. You just know this is the direction my, I want to move in. And even when I go off, I know that I'm using that to get back on the road. You just took a detour down, down you know, overeating lane or not sleeping enough lane. And you just get back on towards your dinacharya, being in harmony with the impulses of the universe. And then the other thing that you can do, again, to keep your mind from rebelling, is replace time that's already dead time. So the, we are busy people. I don't care who you are. We are busy people. We've got all kinds of stuff going on. But there are times that we are spending time that we could, if we had just take, like, for example, social media, we get on, like, we have a little extra time. We want to chill and we get on social media. And before we know it, we spent a half an hour on there, right? So as soon as you can catch yourself, remember, we want, it's a direction, but when you can catch yourself and, and say, you know what? I have a 20 minute period. Let me just lie down and do a quick yoga nidra. Do you see what I'm saying? So there are dead spaces in our day where it's not really used for anything that's truly adding to what we're doing and see if you can replace those with a yoga nidra without making it one more thing you have to do. 
So for example, if you take an afternoon nap or if you need to have a cup of coffee in the afternoon, what if you were to replace it with 10 minute yoga nidra, right? Instead of, um, you know, in the morning when you wake up, maybe, you know, before you just jump right out of bed, maybe you say, okay, I'm gonna take 15 minutes to just do a little yoga nidra or before you go to sleep at night. So the idea is to, to get your mind on your side into a place where it doesn't rebel against you, okay? So hopefully those are some good tips to get us going and get us inspired and to experiment with. And remember, it's not about perfection. We're just all on a journey.